Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for a Healer Within live practice sampler. These practice sessions have been a wonderful way for us all to stay connected during this time. And we hope that you are practicing along, um, staying up and ultimately staying healthy um, with our volunteer practice leaders here that are, are so kind to, to donate their time to, to this effort. For more online practice opportunities, and there are more, please check our list of virtual practice groups or VPGs. You can find that at our website, which is healerwithinfoundation.org under the practice group tab at the top of our homepage. Delighted to welcome our practice leader today, Annette Franks. Annette is a corporate wellness coach and holistic health advisor, as well as an international motivational speaker. She integrates mind-body health with great success, and she's an IIQTC certified Tai Chi and Qigong teacher, and she's led many week-long Tai Chi and Qigong immersion retreats in Costa Rica, so um, that's, that's kind of a fun gig, too. Um, we're delighted to welcome her, as I said, and have her lead us in practice for the first time. And Annette, I'm just going to bring your video to the forefront here so everybody can see you. And we are ready to practice and it's all yours. Thanks so much for being. Thank you, Christy. And I welcome and bless this opportunity. Today, because with the days of COVID, I'm going to focus on boosting our immune, helping us get present in the moment and grounding and boosting our immune. And what I've chosen to prep to, prep to lead us with today are the, some of the baskets of practice from the healer within, the mindful movements, massage, meditation, and breathing. And then I'm gonna close the last part. I'm gonna do the integral Qigong 10 phases uh, that are in Dr. Roger Yonka's book, The Healing Promise of Qi. So I'm gonna draw from the materials from my IIQTC training and would like to welcome this opportunity. I also have to give a great shout out uh, to Christy Ward and Antoinette Horn and Lori Candon and myself, we did an amazing Tai Chi Easy Practice Leader Certification Training in Ohio a few weeks ago. It was COVID safe, it was live, and it was wonderful. So I'm really excited about all of our new practice leaders. Okay, we'll start. Practice. Just take a moment, feel your feet on the floor, bringing your awareness into your feet, into your hands, and slowly take three deep breaths into your lower Dantian, which is just right below your navel. And what I wanna do is help us all get present in the present moment, leaving our outside lives out there and bringing our energy into this space. So take a moment, three deep breaths, breathing in slowly. Breathing out. Feeling your feet on the floor. Feeling your hands in your lower Dantian. Quieting your mind and being with us. The beauty of these practices is they bring us back home to ourselves. And we know that in the present moment, that is where our immune systems are boosted when we change our brain waves from beta to alpha, that's when our uh, immune systems are optimized. And so what I want to do in the days of COVID is focus on optimizing our immune today and helping us integrate some of the mind-body movements that we can do on our own. Okay. So let's take a moment and do the three intentful corrections. Noticing your posture as your feet should be a shoulder width apart, your knees slightly relaxed. Pointing your tailbone to the ground. 
softening your knees, as I said, relax and soften, lengthening our spine, lengthening the back of our neck, and visualizing a gold cord coming down from the heavens and running through our body, rooting us to the earth, lengthening our spine, opening up all our organs areas, softening our jaw, softening our eyes, and focusing and softening our shoulders and focusing on, again, three deep breaths while we clear our mind. And then you're gonna shift your weight to one leg and gradually open as we start the flowing motion, breathing in as you go up and breathing out as you go down. Feel your feet rooted to the earth. And with this next breath and hand motion up, raise your heels slightly as you go up and bring your heels back down, raising your toes as you go back down. And again, this helps improve balance. Slowly going up, gently coming down. Do this a few more times, just focusing on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. One of the things I love about this practice is over time really helps us in our posture and our balance and the brain-body interface. And if you want to see where your balance is, if you feel comfortable and there's nothing around that you might become imbalanced with, next time you go up, close your eyes completely and then come down. Same motion, but with your eyes closed. And practice that a few times if you feel comfortable doing the flowing motion with your eyes closed. It helps the brain access even more neural pathways and also helps improve the balance over time. And we do these practices with our eyes open and also with our eyes closed, feeling really our connection to ourself. Okay, take a moment now, gently open your eyes. And the next time we go up, we're gonna do Front and back bending, I want you to squeeze. This is for an immune pump. And this is really important. I want you to squeeze your hands. I want you to squeeze your arms. As many muscular contractions you can make, your toes, your arms, your legs, your thighs, just slowly squeeze and then release and slowly come up. All the way reaching to the sky. And again, Slowly squeeze, activating your lymph system. Our lymph nodes are activated through muscular contraction, which helps keep us healthy. So as we squeeze and contract, as we go up and down with our front and back bending, it helps activate the lymph nodes in the system through the contraction really, really good in boosting our immune. So keep going a couple more times, squeeze, 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 release, and then slowly come up. 
And like I said, I want to focus on boosting our immune. And we have over 700 lymph nodes throughout our body. And so one of the things we can do is tapping, and these practices are in the healer within, tapping and really activating throughout our whole body, including our neck, okay? We can tap. And we have major nodes right through here, just you can tap, you can pat, our legs and our groin, and down our legs. When I was growing up, I learned that our lymph nodes were right here, and I thought that's the only place they were, were under our arms. And what I've learned over the years in the medical field is we have lymph nodes throughout our body, even our face and our head. There are nodes that activate that help when we have toxins that we have from the environment or something we've eaten. These nodes activate to help destroy the toxic cells. And they're sort of like our first line of defense. Well, if we have a sit down job, we're not moving our body in ways that use muscular contraction. We're not really optimizing our full potential. The thing I love about the healer within and all the practices we do is that this is proactive participation in our own health care that we can do for free. Okay, shake that out, shake that out. Now we're gonna do a little right and left bending. Again, make sure your posture is in alignment. Feel your feet shoulder width apart. Feel your big toe, press on the floor, your little toe, the ball of your foot, the heel of your foot. Point your tailbone to the ground. Elongate your spine, elongate your neck. And again, visualize the gold cord going down what we call the Tai Chi pole in a linear fashion all the way through our body, okay? Take a few deep breaths. And then what I want you to do is visualize you have, keeping that correct posture, softening your shoulders, softening your jaw, lengthening in the back of your neck. What I want you to do is visualize you have 10 two 10 pound bags of sand in each hand. And slowly, very slowly, keeping in your alignment with your posture, gently go to each side as though that bag of sand is pulling you down. A deep breath in and release as you gently go from side to side. And I always like to say, do what feels comfortable for you. Okay, now I want you just to open up, make a wider stance, and this time, I want you to continue the right and left bending, but with your arms over your head, and slowly stretching. This really helps move our spine in ways that our body isn't used to, which helps open up the energy. Okay, and one more time on each side. Okay. Now you can bring your feet slowly in, always making sure they're at least a shoulder width apart. And we're gonna trace the energy channels, the yin and the yang. So you're gonna bring your hands up over your face, around the back of your head, and around your body. 
around your toes and up your thighs. Again, we're going to do that again, tracing the channels. Slowly moving down around your toes and up your thighs. And we'll do this a couple more times. I'm in the field of psychology. So I always like to add words of, you know, this is kind of, when we do this in the morning, it's just kind of loving on ourselves and saying good morning and blessing who we are in this world and honoring our bodies. And this motion, tracing the energy channels, really helps remind me to not only be present to myself, but also to be present honoring my entire being, and I love this, okay? Last time, go down, add your words of celebration for who you are, and come back to center, okay? So now I'm gonna just energize a little bit of the organs. Um, if you want, put your hand on your stomach, and I always, Personally, like to visualize a light coming into my left hand and making a clockwise motion as though there's the clock on my abdomen, just kind of moving the energy in my intestines and in my stomach and moving it in a way that moves it forward. Okay. Also, if you want to go backwards, reverse it. Just kind of honoring your gut, your intestines, but always close in the clockwise. So if you go backwards, make sure that you close in the clockwise position and that helps keep the energy flowing, okay? And now let's do a little bit of energy and loving on our kidneys, which are our vital organs. Um, just kind of give yourself Just kind of rub on them and move. Okay. And then a little bit of heart energy. It's kind of circular motion again, honoring your heart and how it pumps the body, the blood through the body. Just kind of move a little bit of energy. Okay. And now to shake all that out, we're going to energize our organs. Okay. By shaking, a little bit of shaking, and a little bit of spontaneous qigong, uh, move your shoulders back a little bit, kind of loosen them up. Like Christy said, we do retreats in Costa Rica, and part of that is dancing, and we do a lot of salsa dancing, and so I always like to add, you know, not just loosening up the shoulders, but loosening up the hips and rotating them. And if you want to really shake it up in the brain, go the opposite direction, okay? Which helps those pathways in the brain, the interface between the brain and the muscular and the movement opens up more pathways, which we know in long-term health and wellness and in dementia, those things slow down the aging process, dementia, and also Alzheimer's. So this stuff is amazing in terms of movement and waking up things in the brain and using the body in ways that we don't always use. Okay, so let's do a little bit of hand massage and ear massage. In Chinese medicine, we know that there are points in the hands and the feet and in the ears that correlate with the other energy systems and organ systems and endocrine systems in the body. And so we know that when we open up here and work on these, it also helps open up the other energy in the body. So start with one of your hands and just kind of rub in the lagoon point or the palm as most people know it. Just kind of rub in and then rub both sides of the fingers just slowly. Okay, and don't forget the tips. What I like about these systems, and one way that's easy to remember, it's like if your hands are up, 
when you're up here, you're, it's like the head of the body on down to the feet area. So as you are moving your energy down and rubbing on everything, you are opening up the energy and the tips of the fingers, the brain. Um, so you wanna make sure that's open, at least I do. <laughs> and just kind of move along. And if you feel something ouchy, you know, gently pay attention to that and notice and you wanna, you know, rub on that softly, but pay attention. And if it doesn't go away, um, you really wanna make note and um, pay attention. But typically if you have something ouchy, you can rub it out even if it's over a few days and that opens up whatever's going on. So change hands if you haven't already. We're gonna do all the fingers and pull on them. And one of the things I like about this is it's free medicine. You know, we are being proactive in our own health care. And we use movements in Qigong and Tai Chi that keeps not just our muscles, but our tendons and ligaments much more well. Um, and that's what we want. You know, we don't want to end, some people end up with carpal tunnel because we're not moving our body in all different kinds of ways. We get habitual in America. And the thing I love about uh, Qigong and Tai Chi is we move in ways that our body isn't used to, which like I said, helps make our brain mass better and bigger and those pathways. But it also helps keep our body in an upright position, more balanced, better posture, boosts our immune, and it's free. Once we learn these techniques, it's free. It's a delicious way to start the morning. Okay, I wanna give you, since you're up here, do a little bit of tapping on your face and then do a little bit of massage on the ears, okay? Rub them around. I, I truly believe that it will not make your ears bigger, so, <laughs> so it will just help open up pathways. Some people don't want to pull on their ears. My ears are big enough. No, it won't make them bigger, but it does definitely open up, open up the pathways. All right, so let's shake all that out. All right. Um, okay, are we ready? So just kind of ground your energy for a moment. And before we do the last segment, which is the integral Qigong 10 phases, like I said, they're outlined in Dr. Roger Nankas, The Healing uh, Promise of Qi. It's, it's a beautiful practice and I wanted to do it today, take this opportunity, because again, it's another way of slowing down our brain. And as I said before, you're listening to me right now in a beta frequency in the brain but as you do these practices meditatively, it slows the brain wave down and it literally boosts your immune. And one of the things that I know to be true is there's the biggest nerve in the body and it hooks into the brain. It's the largest nerve in the body and it comes down here and it hooks in to this abdominal area, to our heart and to our lungs. So when our head in the Tai Chi position, the back of our neck is lengthened, we're not cutting it off, we're opening it up. And when we're breathing deep into our lower Dan Tien, when we're taking deep breaths, it activates the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is what quells anxiety. It calms our entire central nervous system. So regardless of what's happening in the world, that we might perceive as a threat when it's just stress from work or too much on our plate. When we stop and get present and breathe deep and pull our energy into our body, quelling our mind and being in the present moment and breathing deep, what that does is activate that nerve and that then changes our entire central nervous system to calm. To me, it is, absolutely priceless to understand these practices and the medical implications behind them. It's free medicine, absolutely free medicine. So let's take a moment, and that's why I wanted to do the integral Qigong. 
I'm gonna do the practices three times each, the 10 phases. But the first one I'll guide you for those who are new and describe the, the, the uh, phase. And then I'll do them two more times in quiet so that you can experience your own body and experience your own uh, uh, calm. And the fewer words I use, the more calm your body can feel. That's the beauty. I love teaching. I teach all over um, these practices, but my favorite is actually doing them on my own when I'm not having to think about the words or my students, which I love. However, when I do these myself, I wake up, as we say, the golden elixir within ourselves, and that wakes up my own internal medicine, and I love it. We can go into deep states of consciousness with these practices once we understand them. So that's what we're gonna do is start with, and I'll ring the bell, but I want you to get into your position and we're gonna clear our minds and we're gonna do the 10 phases. So take a moment, clear your mind Slow your energy down. Do the three intentful corrections. Feel your feet on the floor. Breathe in. Feet should be again shoulder width apart. Soften your knees. Put your tailbone down. Lengthen your spine, soften your shoulders, lengthen the back of your neck. Soften your eyes, focus in the present moment, and this will be our closing practice. Slowly shift your energy to one side and open. We're going to discover the chi. Feel the energy between your hands. You should have woke up a lot of energy. And feel the chi ball. And now bend over. We're gonna gradually gather from the earth, more beautiful chi, and we're gonna gather from the heavens, bringing it down into our heart-mind center. And again, As you come down, I want you to take one of your feet, make it perpendicular to the other, and we're going to circulate the chi like the river's flowing. Bring it back, go down, come up, and again, circulate the chi, bring it back. As you come up, make your feet parallel and then slowly go to this side, pushing out, coming back in, shifting down, scooping up. And again, Again. 
And as you come up, make your feet parallel again, reposition. We're going to purify our small universe around us. Let's push our arms out, clearing our space from people, things that no longer serve us. Bring the positive chi in. And then we're going to give to the heavens that which we feel powerless over and let it do its orchestration, bringing the positive unconditional love from the heavens back into our heart. And then we're going to push out from our heart center any wounds, hurts that no longer serve us that might be lingering. Release that energy. And then we're going to give back to Mother Earth the garbage that needs to be recycled. And again, push out. Bring your hands in. One last time, out, in, up. And as your hands come up, we're going to direct the chi through our energy channels, like we did earlier, but we're gonna add, going under and over and across the face, and again, under and over and across the face. And again, One last time. Now we're going to watch clouds pass. We're going to conserve our chi. I want you to bring your lagoon or your palm up. Look into the palm and turn. Slowly dropping your palm, but keeping your eyes gazed at this point. Bringing your other hand up to meet your eyes and slowly moving to the other side. Again, keep your eyes gazed. Bring your other hand up to meet your eyes, focusing in the present moment. Last time. This time we're going to store the cheese, scooping up and showering it down, penetrating it deep into our bone marrow. Just visualize the light and the chi emanating from your hands, radiating down, showering you with the positive energy. And 
And one last time, breathe in, breathe in the light, the energy, and then slowly we're gonna transform the chi, turning it this way, and then this way, and then back, and then opening up your heart center as though you have a slinky in your hand, just playing with that chi, transforming it, opening up your heart, feeling your own unconditional love and acceptance, playing in the field of light, transforming the chi. And then bring your hands again together, but not forming the ball, but form the ball of chi, feel the energy between them. And feel the chi dissolve back into the universe. Being present to this moment, being present to your breath, feeling your feet rooted to the earth, your shoulders relaxed, your knees soften. Feel the light that beams from within and slowly bring your hands to prayer form, raising your hands to the heavens. And my signature with the 10 phases is to make a huge heart representing love, unconditional love, radiating it out to the universe. And again, feel yourself rooted, your hands opening up and making a big heart where we radiate the unconditional love we feel for ourselves and each other, and we give it to the world, knowing that we are all one. Take a moment. Just take a moment to feel the radiance, to feel the light that beams around you, through you and out from you. And then slowly shift your legs to one side as we close this practice. Thank you for this opportunity to be with you today to be with ourselves. Thank you so much, Anna. That was an absolutely beautiful practice and one that just will start all of our weeks off quite well. So want to just give you all the appreciation for, um, for bringing your, your time and your talent and your treasure to us all today. Very appreciated. I want to remind everyone that um, you can find other online practice opportunities through our website, which is healerwithinfoundation.org, under the practice group tab at the top of our homepage. We've compiled a list of virtual practice groups that are meeting, and uh, we've added a few new ones there. So please do uh, check out those opportunities. If you've missed any of our live practice sessions, you may now find them on the Foundation's YouTube channel. Simply search on Healer Within Foundation there at YouTube uh, to find us. And please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, doing so will help us grow our footprint there and ultimately uh, help us to bring these great practices into um, our lives. So we'd appreciate your subscription. If you're leading an online practice group and wish to be added to that VPG list, or if you'd like to volunteer to lead one of these live practice samplers, uh, please let us know. You can email to admin at healerwithinfoundation.org or uh, send us a message through Facebook and we'd be happy to talk with you about the opportunities there. So I wanna thank you all for joining us today. Our, our sincere thanks again to Annette for leading us in practice today. We hope to see you all again soon. And until we do, may all be well. Thank you.